حق شون او بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم صل على بدر التمام اللهم صل على نور الظلام اللهم صل على مفتاء دار السلام اللهم صل على شفي في جميع العالم آه الحمد لله رب العالمين آه all thanks and adoration belongs to Almighty Allah alone and uh, we beseech we sought for his blessing over his noble prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam uh, his household his companion and the generality of muslims uh, it is very essential and uh, it has become necessary to engage our muslim brothers and sisters because what has happened has happened and it is not news again that uh, there is a pandemic in the town we are talking about the coronavirus we've uh, really talked about issues concerning this and uh, as the thing is growing and it is affecting every other thing in our life we should at least make use of these ample opportunities which uh, both the government and uh, uh, the generality of uh, Muslims have agreed that every one of us should stay at home. It is the common slang in town now, stay safe, stay home. Uh, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, we we'll keep giving thanks to Almighty Allah for the glory and benefit of being a Muslim because it is a, an opportunity in one's life that for, to be a Muslim uh, you cannot uh, quantify it it is a direct blessing from Almighty Allah the Quran says uh, in Quran chapter 2 uh, verse uh, uh, 26 he says, In Allah, La Yastai, and Yad Riba Mathalan, Ma Bauda Tan, Fama Faukoha, Fama Ladina Aman, Fayala Moon, Anna Huli Hakumi Robbi him, or Maladina Kafaru, Fayakulu, Namada, Rada Law Behada Mathalan, Yudilu be e Kathiran, Wayadi be e Kathiran, Wama Yudilu, Ilal Fasikin. The word of Allah is the truth. Uh, at a point in time in our life, Allah says in that fast that uh, He will be giving us a kind of warning, a kind of sign, a kind of example to pass across and a, a very important information, especially when things have gone viral in, in, our, in our community, in our social life, the religious life, the economic life. We could not at a particular time know which one is right which one is wrong so allah will come out to give us a kind of signal and that is why i love this particular fast it's the coronavirus has come has come as a signal it has come as a warning it has come as an example a global example that the Quran says, For those who believe among you, they will quickly reflect that this is a signal from Almighty Allah. And come to think of it, everything has been shut down. The business activities, the social gatherings, even if you have a baby boy born today and you have to do the Christianity, the Akiko, the, the following seven days, you have to do within the, the terrain of your family, you know, to curtail the social distance. So, it, it has not changed anything in religion, but it's, you know, give a kind of guidelines in the way we do our things. So, for those who believe, they will quickly reflect that God is passing the message. It's only those who don't believe that will be asking, <laughs> is it really? You know, a typical Nigerian, even till now, 
does not believe that this thing is real. They are still asking that we are Africans, we are Nigerians. What, what is Corona? What is uh, what is uh, what's it called? That, that's, they, they, they don't they don't. In fact, if Corona is not even real, what has bring about to us now? You should let us know that this thing is real. It has affected our lives. The only mosque in Mecca has been shut down. There were no umrahs. We don't even know if we are going to perform Hajj this year. There were no Juma services. You see, in some areas, some like Lagos and uh, maybe Ogun State or Federal Capital Abuja, the activity has been shut down completely. Happening in our life, and it's very very important. So far, you think will be a and that's what you see, many, many people will, will be lost out out of this. Many people will be lost out in their businesses and they may not regain it back. The economic life of some people will lost totally. And some people, if they could come back to Almighty Allah by virtue of forgiveness, by, by virtue of, you know, calm down totally, in submission to the will of Almighty Allah, they will survive this. And after that, they will be they will be able to glorify Almighty Allah. There's another verse in the Holy Quran, Quran chapter 8, verse 25. Allah says, Itaku fitna, la to say banna ladina dola mumin kum khasa wa ala mu anna la shadid al ayqa. Allah says, Itaku fitna. You should fear fit, fitna that when it comes, it will not spare any one of you. Whether you, 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 you are a sinner, or you believe you are a believer, or you believe you have been doing good, you have been enjoying doing good and things, it, 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 doesn't, it doesn't spare anybody. And that's an example of coronavirus. Coronavirus does not discriminate. Before, if you just move around, anybody who have contacted it, my brother, you 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 you'll be you be, you'll be contacted also. So it is not something peculiar to the riches. It is not something peculiar to the politicians. It's not something peculiar to what have you. So it's a general phenomenon. That's what Allah is telling us. It might be out of ignorance of some people. It might be out of wickedness of some people that this thing has come to us and we have to face it. Tarali and Niban Jacob Buruni, ten you badaleku, Ibatuba Berari way, ah, Nido Suni, and that's an adage from Yoruba. That when you see some people, Rosal Asemara, I mean Kurumun Karan, Fali Yuga Yuru Biadi, Wailam the Steti, Fabi Lisani, Wailam the Steti, Fabi Lisani, or what are that for the human? When you notice an ambiguity in the community, the best approach is to change it outrightly with your hand. But sometimes you may not be, you may not have the capacity, you may not have the power, you may not have the courage to do so. Then speak it out, talk about it, say it out, let people hear this thing. We have to be careful. We have to do. We have to do that. That's the second measure in Islam. And the third one is, if I thought that, if if I talk now. When they pick me up, when something bad happened to me, so then in your mind, don't join the bad wagon and make sure you desist that attitude within your heart. So a lot of things um, uh, is happening now. We are we are back home, uh, and um, we have to at least reflect on certain things. Should we fear Allah the way and manner we fear coronavirus? Everybody, everybody now fear coronavirus. So let's, as we are home now, think within yourself that should the, the, am I fearing Allah the ways and manner I'm fearing this coronavirus? We don't want to be contacted. So, nevertheless, we must always be conscious of Almighty Allah. He's our Creator. He can do and undo. He has millions of COVID-19 within his capacity. He thought this is just a little, and we are all weary. 
Should we wash our hearts the way we wash our hands regularly? We should wash our hearts with fear of Almighty Allah. The way we've been washing our hands regularly. If you enter this mall, as you are coming out, you enter another mall, you have to wash your hands, sanitize your hands. Have we sanitized our hearts? Our hearts, rather. You know, to be doing good, to be enjoying people doing good, to, to revoke evil. Should we distant our, ourselves from sins against Allah the way we have distant ourselves from places of worship? Every place has been shut down. So we could not move. Now we back home. As we are back home, we should back. We should return back to Almighty Allah. See? The way we, we, we have been covering our nose our, with uh, masks and things, with uh, nose cover and things, with wear gloves and things. That is how we're supposed to have been cover our nudity, our nakedness. You see women around, see everything we are, we, we are doing now. When they has uh, Aisha Rodiala Anja about Sa'alatu Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the Ta'ul, Fahbidini anna hu adabun yab'athu Allahu ala man yasha. What was it like told Aisha when he, he, he asked about a kind of, you know, pandemic? He said it is it is it is anger from Almighty Allah, and it is a blessing to the believers because if a believer died within that period or he died of that virus, he will, he, he will be regarded as somebody he will be regarded as a martyr. That's for a believer. And if a kufar should die, it will be a kind of punishment to him, to Almighty Allah. So we must at least change our attitude the way we do our things. It's, it, it is a very good example, it's a very good signal for us that Almighty Allah, in his own capacity, wants us to return back to him, totally. So we should keep off part of our body from sin, the way we have been warned not to be touching our mouth, our nose, our eyes. We should desist every part of our body against sin, against Almighty Allah. So we should use this time to return back with our family. We should reflect. We should engage our children. We should know the state of their belief. Our wives, our family and things. We should engage more. We should relate with them. So then um, we should not forget that we are in Shaban. Shaban today is 11. And Ramadan is very much approaching. A lot of things that Allah has been passing to us that we should be doing that we've neglected. One of it is giving harms. Eh? Strengthen our hands in need to those who are less privileged. But coronavirus has teached us a lesson that please help oh, people are now sharing palliatives. What Allah has told us 1,400 years ago by his noble prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So if we, 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 it is, if we have been asking questions about Almighty Allah, about religious activities, the way we've been asking about coronavirus, we don't want to be concerned. What can we do again? Should we drink water? Should we wash our hands? We want to listen, we want to adhere to it. But the ulama, the scholars, we will not engage them to ask one or two things about religion, about the way of Allah, about the propagation of his religion, about how to treat people among ourselves. In Allah, wa kurba. That is a message Allah has given to us that we must we must do justice. The politician, the people in government, and what have you? We must do justice among ourselves. We must strengthen our hands in need to those people who are who, who are not better off in the community. They say they, they are, they say that are the poor of the, the the poor the poor of the poor or something. So the zakat, if you have been saying, if you have been paying our zakat. The way government is coming out to pay palliatives, our community will have been better off than any other nation in the country, in, in the world. I remember vividly in the early 70s, if Saudians, if they are not seeing Nigeria, they won't be happy because Nigeria will go to Mecca with a lot of cash and they will come back with cash because they won't, they, there's nothing to buy. If you travel in the olden days to London or America, you come back with shirts and coats. That's how they regard you. <laughs> he has traveled. You come back with clothes. So because even a dollar is not up to a, 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 a cobble then. So how, how, how what all happened? So what we need to be doing as we are home now, we should first of all 
be conscious of Almighty Allah. We should pray our daily prayers regularly in Jama with our with our with our words. And also we should make sure we read our Quran often and often now and reflect over whatever you might have read. If you don't know the Arabic uh, text, read the English fashion, even read the Bible, you know, be it Yoruba or Aoudou and any other people of, uh, of uh, monotheism. We should at least use this opportunity to change our attitude. There are different issues in the community and the evils are even perpetrating within places of worship these days. Those are the things we have done against humanity and almighty God. And we must come back, seek forgiveness from almighty Allah and pray, and pray, and pray, and pray that Allah should uh, lift this evil called uh, coronavirus out of our time. We pray that um, uh, with the limit of two weeks, the federal government has given to shut down some places. By the end of that two weeks, we should come out clean, better in everything, health-wise, spiritual-wise, physical-wise, inshallah, Rahman. And I'm using this opportunity that, uh, inshallah, tomorrow, uh, our association, Yusru Life Association of Nigeria, will come online to perform our Sunday uh, prayer session, as Salatu as uh, and it's going to be online with social distancing policy uh, by our missioners only. So people can join us uh, by 9 o'clock, inshallah, Rahman. And we didn't want to one and a half, two hours, we are done. We, the Asalatu is going to meant uh, to carry you all along and to pray for our nation and to pray for the pandemic throughout the world and to pray for members uh, of uh, Yusuf Allah, uh, the Muslims world and the entire uh, Nigerians and what have you. So the prayer is going to cover everybody uh, not only for the uh, virus, for those who have, you know, contacted by disease, we pray for their recovery, including the number one citizen of this uh, state, uh, Engineer Sheyima Kede, and we are using this medium to pray for him that Allah will heal him totally and completely. Allahumma rabbana taqabal mina, inna ka anta sami wa alim. وَتُبْ عَلَيْنَا يَا مَوْلَانَا إِنَّكَ أَنْتَ التَّوَابُ الرَّحِيمُ رَبَّنَا إِنَّكَ جَامِعُ النَّاسِ لِيَامِ لَا رَيْبَ فِيهِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يُخْلِفُ الْمِهَادِ رَبَّنَا آتِنَا فِي الدُّنْيَا حَسَنَةً وَفِي الْآخِرَةِ حَسَنَةً وَكِنَّا عَذَابَ النَّارِ سُبْحَانَ رَبِّكَ رَبِّ الْعِزَّةَ مَا يَصِفُونَ والسلام على المرسلين وحمد لله رب العالمين والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته